here's something I haven't really talked about. What's going on in F1 right now with the driver market? Daniel Ricciardo says that he's likely leaving the sport. Rumours are that much like K-Mag's return for this season, we're going to see Nico Hülkenberg go alongside his favourite friend from the 2017 Hungarian Grand Prix at Haas, with Mick Schumacher vacating his seat. Maybe to go to Williams. You don't know who's in that second Williams seat. We just know it's not Nicholas Latifi. Yeah, Daniel Ricciardo is saying he's calling in time. And Nick De Vries, because Pierre Gasly has gone to Alpine, is now in the Red Bull stable at Alpha Tauri. Well, I presume he's in the Red Bull stable. Otherwise, it would be a bit awkward having somebody who was Mercedes in the Red Bull stable and you have someone who was Red Bull in a Mercedes stable. But then it's F1. F1 does things differently. It's... Yeah, it's it's an interesting thing to talk about. So, what do we see for the last two seats? I, I really don't know, to be honest. It would be cool to see Ricardo at Williams. I think the Grove team could benefit from having someone of Ricardo's calibre in the team. I think it's a relatively lower stakes environment for him. And I, I'd... I'd love to see him try to get back to that driver he was. I, I don't think we've seen that for a long time. I think we saw a glimpse for the Monza last year. But I think really since 2018 we haven't seen that. And that's a shame to say, it's a shame to see. Ricardo's one of my favourite drivers, but... Yeah, what else could we have? We could have someone like uh, Sergeant easily come up. We could see somebody else come across with all kinds of different disciplines. Some people come back to the sport. I mean, at the same time, when we talk about the Hulk argument, wouldn't it be cool to see him going across to Williams where he started his career, potentially ending his career in Grove? I don't know. All I can really say right now is that it's all up in the air. I'm surprised we haven't heard as much conversation about that Williams seat as I would have expected. I reckon De Vries is going to do well as Alpha Tauri. Um, but the issue that I have with them is who's going to be the leader in that dynamic. Is it going to be the world champion of Formula E? Or is it going to be the guy who's going to be in his third season of Formula 1 full time? That's a question that they need to answer and they need to sort out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.